Welcome back. In this video, I will briefly discuss about emulsions and marinades. You'll learn more about emulsifications later on in the course. An emulsification is a uniform mixture of two liquids that would not normally mix together, such as oil and water. These liquids need a substance to hold them together, which is known as an emulsifier. Mayonnaise and salad dressings are example of permanent emulsifications. These stay together long term. Uh, mayo uses egg yolk as an emulsifier to combine oil and water. Other permanent emulsifications include cookie dough and a roux, as I discussed in the socks video. An example of a temporary emulsification is a vinaigrette, which is oil and vinegar. Um, if you gently shake those together, they combine, but they separate in about an hour. Marinades add flavor to a meat or poultry or fish. Those are usually a combination of acids, oils, spices, herbs. The acids in a marinade help dissolve connective tissue, making the, the meat more tender. Common acids used in marinades include lemon or citrus juices, vinegars, wines, sometimes in cuisines, uh, yogurt, and tomato sauces. Oils used in marinades help uh, food maintain moisture. These can be used for short or long-term periods, but generally um, most food marinades marinates for about a 24 to 48 hour period. Um, usually these marinades are discarded after use, but they can be cooked with the food. Also dry rubs are considered a marinade. These are like a combination of dry spices. Um, these are typically used in like a barbecue, something like that. Um, other types of marinades include brines, which is like a salty mixture with mixed with spice, certain spices. Other types of tenderizers that aren't commonly used is actually baking soda. That actually also helps break down connective tissue 